Alexa Ernst. I'm in eighth grade here at the Weiss School. Children should be seen and not heard. This is an old English proverb that dates back to the 15th century and implies that children are naive and shouldn't engage in adult matters. However, I believe this idea is inaccurate and outdated. In fact, it only takes a quick internet search to realize how differently kids are viewed today. Over the years, society has become increasingly more accepting of the viewpoints and ideas of young people. Raise your hand if you recognize this face. If you were born in the 70s or 80s, you would know that this is Fred Rogers, better known as Mr. Rogers, from the TV series Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You'd also recognize the line, won't you be my neighbor? Fred Rogers was truly a champion for young people. He believed that there are heroes everywhere and he encouraged his viewers to become heroes themselves. Now more than ever, young people are able to become change agents within their community. We are able to generate new ideas that adults haven't considered yet and bring unique perspectives to issues. Every day, kids like us are playing active roles within our communities. We are recognizing the problem and advocating for change. The thought of initiating change may seem daunting. You may be asking yourself, how can I even get started? Well, as a first step, I would encourage you to look for local opportunities within your own town. You can look for local events like soup kitchens and animal shelters, anything that welcomes volunteers of all ages. You may know of a family in need that you can help out or of a local problem and you have an idea for a solution. You could even start your own volunteer group. There are organizations like Lion's Heart that allows you to create and join chapters with other teenage volunteers. When I first joined Lion's Heart two years ago, I thought it'd be a fun way to hang out with my friends, but I found that I really enjoy being a part of something bigger than myself. If you're still wondering how kids can make a difference, there are so many different examples around the world of kids having a positive impact on it. For example, Malala Yufazi, at the age of 11, was writing a blog about her life in Pakistan for the local BBC station. The Taliban had recently banned girls in her village from attending school, and through her blog, she voiced her desire for girls to get an education. Despite an attempt on her life, Malala to continue to fight for the educational rights of girls, and she has even been awarded a Nobel Prize for her work. Another impressive kid is Joshua Wong from Hong Kong. He created a student activism group known as Scholarism, which purpose was to push back against China's efforts to enforce communism on Hong Kong's educational system. He started by simply handing out flyers, and eventually he became a key leader in a mass protest known as the Umbrella Movement, which demanded freer elections for the people of Hong Kong. Although the Umbrella Movement wasn't successful, he continued to remain a pro-democracy advocate, and at the age of 19, he even created his own political party. Another great example of a kid making a difference in the world is Greta Thunberg. She is a Swedish political advocate who is seeking to stop climate change and global warming. She was inspired by the students at Parkland who organized mass protests against US gun laws. So one day, at the age of 15, she decided to skip school and sit outside the Swedish parliament alone. Every day, more and more people joined her, and eventually, more than 1,000 kids in 100 countries around the world were on strike against climate change. Greta was able to bring a lot of attention to a very important issue. And because of all of her work, she's been recently nominated for a Nobel Prize. Well, the accomplishments and achievements of Greta, Joshua, and Malala are both inspiring and impressive. There are so many local opportunities available for you to get involved. There are organizations like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Junior Achievements, Youth Groups, and most after-school clubs that help promote and foster the development and engagement of young people in society. For me, combining my interest in aerospace and debate has allowed me to work with lawmakers and industry leaders to advocate for funding for space exploration and raise awareness for the CubeSat launch initiative, in addition to promoting equity to ensure that all students have access to a quality STEM education. Through my experience, the most important thing is to find something you're passionate about. Change can come from one simple idea, belief, action. Remember, one action has the power to create change. Fred Rogers once famously said, we live in a world in which we must share responsibility. It's easy to say, not my child, not my community, not my world, not my problem. Then there are those who see the need and respond. I consider those people my heroes. We are all capable of becoming a hero to someone. By defining a problem, initiating change, and inspiring others, you can make a positive impact on the world. Through actions big and small, you can be a good neighbor, make a positive impact on the world, and be an everyday hero. 
So I ask you, won't you be a neighbor? Thank you.